One thing we probably should see from this section is differentiation. When we're working with polar coordinates, we think of theta as our independent variable and r as our dependent variable. And we can take the derivative of the dependent variable with respect to the independent variable in the usual way. So if, for example, r equals one minus the cosine of theta, then dr d theta is the sine of theta. No problem there. But what if, as happened in the polar section as well, we want to compute the derivative of y with respect to x? Well, now things get ugly. The derivative of y with respect to x evaluated at r comma theta is the derivative of this f prime of theta. So the derivative computed in the regular way, just like we did over here, times the sine of theta plus f of theta times the cosine of theta all divided by the derivative times the cosine minus the function times the sine. So that's not a lovely form of the certainly. I freely concede that. Let's find dy dx for this example. R equals one minus the cosine of theta. dy dx is the derivative times the sine plus the original function times the cosine divided by the derivative times the cosine minus the original function times the sine. 
And I suppose you could simplify the numerator a little. I mean, this is sine squared. Here we have a cosine squared. And you can simplify the denominator a little. We have a sine times a cosine, a sine times a cosine. And this is negative, negative. This is giving us a positive sine, cosine. So they don't cancel out, they add um, minus the sine of theta. But that's about as simple as it's possible to make this thing.